Mush foods, if you haven't heard of it, they grow edible mushroom mycelium to create sustainable animal-free protein for use in the food and beverage industry. An important topic worldwide, no doubt. And shout out Daniel, the founder and the CEO of Mush Foods, is joining us in the studio today. And he's not alone. He's brought some foods. This is the most important perhaps here. Uh, shout out, tell us, first We're of all. We're talking about food tech. We yes, must bring food, right? We have to, but this is, I understand, a vegan item that we're looking at here. I mean, I mean you, you brought in some sample here. Before we even get into all the science behind this, I have to start with the food that's sort of catching yeah, my attention. Yeah, actually, I too. want you to bite, uh, to you to have a bite. Are you vegan, David? I'm not a vegan. All right, okay. don't feel bad with it. Okay. Most of the people in, uh, in the world are not. I'll admit it. Take a bite from this burger, please. This is. I and, mean, I'm and just while you are yeah. while you are taking a bite, uh, tell us what you feel. I'll tell and you. I will let you know what is inside. It looks like a hamburger. It looks delicious. It's, I mean, by all intents and purposes, this is inviting me in. So here we go. I'm going to get on this for my viewers. <laughs> Excuse me. Live bite. Careful on your suit. This isn't beef. This is not beef. It is, actually. But it's only 50% of the beef. It's delicious. Actually, what we're doing is we're trying to bring a new uh, approach to the market. Because as you told me and I told you, most of the population are not vegan and they're not going to be. Why? Because we as human beings never in the history changed our habits so dramatically from white to black, okay? Only because we want to save the planet or the animals. So we think that if we can help people, the flexitarians, the people who want to reduce the meat consumption, but don't get all the way for now, okay, to be vegan until we have the cultivated meat, and etc. For now, they can reduce 50% of the meat consumption within the meat products. So it's a hybrid type of product. It's a hybrid burger, okay. yeah. And we can do it with chicken, pork, beef, anything, any minced meat or processed meat we can do, like sausages, kebab, burgers, chicken nuggets, etc. which is, by the way, 50% of the total meat market, wow. which is $1.5 trillion a this year. sort of processed meats that are coming out that everybody, quote unquote, eats. Yeah. I mean, uh, this, is, this is definitely something that would keep me coming back for, for more bites here. I would not be able to tell you at all that this isn't just a totally beef. I know. From, from, from biting into this here. And you got the sort of raw ingredients here on the table. Yeah, here. I wanted to show you this. first uh, how our ingredient looks like. Okay. Okay, so basically, we're an ingredient company. We are producing our product for B2B market, for meat producers, for food service like restaurants and canteens that want to reduce the consumption of meat. So this is mainly our ingredient. This is the mush foods ingredient that we grow, mush mushroom mycelium, okay. okay? And make it, uh, this for example, it's a product that replaces beef. So it's a mix of four different mushroom species, okay, that we are growing the mycelium so of it. find special combinations. Yeah, sort of and then in the end we're right mixing right. it. So oh. the chicken product, it's totally different product and it's okay. a mix of two All right. uh, ingredients, okay? This is how it looks, by the way. It's a clean spoon, you can try, try this, this also. Try this. And I gotta say, I know your, your chef is outside here, he cooked this fresh for me. Yeah. Compliments to the chef who's outside the studio here. This is yeah. delicious, I'll try this as well. So this is no meat in here. This Nothing, is this is only the mushroom mycelium. This is our product. Mm. It's a mix of four different species. Okay. Even yeah, like less this, meaty, but no overpowering flavor to that. It's, it's of course, good. It's and good. it looks mm -hmm. like beef, mm -hmm. okay, and it has the yeah. same uh, taste. And the the trick is that when you are combined, this is by the way uh, a hybrid uh, uh, burger before we are cooking okay. it. Okay. So what you have inside is fifty percent of the beef. 50% of our ingredient, and you can see the difference yeah, yeah. in the color. Yeah. Why? Because we are bringing the color in the production to be the same color after you are cooking the burger. Mm. So actually, and, and this is the magic, when you combine the mycelium with the burger, okay, with the beef or the chicken, it soaks the taste, the juiciness, okay? It soaks the fat and everything, and it combines like a one uh, a piece of meat and this is why you can't feel the difference when you're eating it. Yeah, uh, it, it's fresh. Um, it feels fresh. It feels, yeah, obviously indistinguishable from yeah, just a meat product here. Now, I, I noticed mycelium. I mean, why, why mycelium exactly? I mean, mushrooms, people eat mushrooms. We're familiar with that uh, yeah. sort of portion of the fungus uh, kingdom here. So mycelium, explain exactly what's there. So, we're talking about the real basic part of fungus. Even today, a lot of chefs, and I'm sure maybe even you at home, I'm a cooker, you know, I don't know <laughs> what your ability is, but even today people use a lot of mushrooms yeah. when they are cooking, okay? But mushrooms cost more than chicken and okay. beef, okay? Yeah. Wow. Uh, per kilogram. It's kind of absurd. When you are growing mycelium, mycelium, if a mushroom were a plant, 
Okay, you can call mycelium roots. Okay. But mushroom, it's not a plant. It's like a third thing, kingdom right in the middle between plants and animals. It's something that's there. Okay, it's an organism, yeah. Is this, can this save the planet? I mean, is this, a, I know Definitely. the meat market, the meat industry, it's by all accounts a crushing and unsustainable industry. Is this the answer? Yeah, and what people don't know, David, is that the mushroom you're regularly eating, okay, the vegetable, it's only five to seven percent from the total biomass of the organism. So most of it is grow underneath the ground and it's not reachable to us. And this is actually our core technology. We know how to grow the mycelium instead of underneath the ground, above the ground. So it's much more efficient. Mush Foods, uh, Shalom Daniel. Thank you on multiple levels for uh, enlightening us and for you know, filling me up a little bit as well. So